so welcome to another video so in this video i'll be showing you how to auto restore your subscriptions in your application in flutter right so for an instance if your user they uninstalled your application and then they want to install it again then whenever they open the application for the first time after installing it it should restore the subscription back into the user without coming to the subscription page and press uh, restore subscriptions and also i'll be showing you how to know which subscription the user subscribed to right so in part three we looked at how to implement this uh, subscription logic so if you are new and then you haven't watched this a video you can go ahead and just check it out which is part three we implemented the subscriptions we i also showed you how to remove ads with the subscription right so now i will just add the auto restore and also be able to know which uh, subscription the user subscribed to for instance if you have the a monthly subscription and a weekly subscription we just want to differentiate which one the user subscribed to so without a further we do let's just jump into the code and let me just pull up my emulator right here so as you can see we have got the restore subscription logic there which we can just come here and look at it let me just search restore subscription so i've got a gesture detector there which it has a child of restore subscriptions and the method that we are calling when we click this is just restore purchases once you click this restore purchases then it's going to go to google play uh, and pull all the subscription linked to the locked in email in google play right so what do i mean by the linked gmail let me just go out and go to play store then this is the email that is linked to google play right so once you logged in with this email and then you subscribe to the app and then your subscriptions it will be listed here then when you click restore purchases uh, the API restore purchases is going to go to Google Play and look for this email and pull all the purchases, all the subscription under this email, right? Yeah. Then now, since I don't have a subscription, let me just go ahead and go back to the application and subscribe. Let's go back to subscriptions. Subscribe to the weekly subscription hit subscribed then it's going to update and hit this um, showing ad and change this is subscribed to true then we can close this and go back to google play console i mean google play app then you can go to subscriptions then you will see we just subscribe to this subscription right we just subscribe to it so now we want to restore the subscription let's go back to the application okay so now let's just clear the data for this application Okay, now when we open the application, then you go to subscriptions. You see, I've cleared out the shared preference in the application. So if I click restore, it came back with the subscription and activated back. So we want to take this logic back into our uh, splash screen, right? Let's just say splash screen dot that, then create a new stateful widget inside, just name it splash screen then you can add this uh, material to that then change this into scaffold 
and then write a body here center it inside of the center just put a child of the text and just say uh loading like that so here what we need is three things right we need three things we need the init state and then we also need a function called restore sub and then inside of this function what we'll need we'll need to create the in-app engine in-app engine is equals to a new instance of in-app engine this is coming from the one pref um, package then you can just copy this then come inside of this restore um, restore sub then inside of this function you need to call the in-app engine go to the instance of in-app purchase dot restore purchases this is what you need to do then copy this and paste it here in the init state when you land to the splash screen the init state it will be triggered then it will call this function uh, restore um, sub and then once the subscription is restored what we need to do is we need to go to our, our in-app engine inside of the in-app purchase instance and then go to the purchase stream then we need to listen to any um, uh, purchase details that are coming from the google play console right so it will return a list right here a list of purchase details so save this and then come inside here so what you need to do you need to check if the list if the list is not empty if the list is not empty then restore the subscription else then um, do nothing or you can just deactivate deactivate the subscription if there is if if the user is premium right just like that what we need to do is let me just go to my uh, google play app and check if i still have a subscription okay the app is not here yes there you go i still have a subscription it's going to expire at 27 just a minute from now and then we can just go back in our app so we forgot to do one thing here we can just copy this and go to our main dot dot and replace the the home with the splash screen right so now when i restart this application it should take me to the restore uh, thingy right to the splash screen this is the splash screen as you can see it says loading so uh we just want to check remember this is auto uh restore so it's going to call the init state and the init state is going to call our restore uh patches our restore purchases right so we can come here inside and print the um the purchase details so we know there's only one subscription so that's why i'm giving it a zero there so if there's more subscriptions then what you need to do you need to put a for each statement like that then put the list here put the list here and then you can just copy this and paste it here inside then what you need to do is just do an i like that 
then put this i just inside of this and increment the i by one just like that so it's simple it's simple you can go through this list and check uh, all the data that is right here right so we can just do this and then check the console and then refresh this uh, hot restart then it's going to go to the splash screen then it's going to print our um, our subscription here this is the subscription as you can see it's acknowledged which is true and then if you can check the product id is the weekly one that we just purchased right so now since you have this subscription then it's acknowledged and then you can just say um okay the user has the subscription let's do like this and then if the user has the subscription you can just say one pref and then dot set premium dot true and then you can just activate the subscription back to the user then this side you just need to say false right you just need to say false and then now what we need to do we need to navigate back to our dot main there you go so now when i hot restart this we'll check the subscription activate it then go to the main dot that as you can see now there's a subscription there right so now let me go to the google play console and deactivate the subscription so now i'm canceling the subscription which is cancel and then it's going to expire at 20 at 32 which is just now let's just wait for it to be expired okay there you go as you can see now the subscription is no longer active it is expired it's just right here we can just remove it and then yes just want to remove it thank you google play then the subscription has been removed now we don't have record of that subscription right so let me go back to the application without hard resetting it so now it's still reflecting that uh i'm still subscribed but if i click restore subscription it's going to deactivate the subscription right so but now we are testing the auto um restore or auto deactivate right so let me just hard restart this then it's going to go to loading and then after that it will go to the um main dot that or oh, it won't go there because we didn't put this in the else right so we just need to put it here and say hard restart and then loading now it's in the main then if you go to the subscriptions you will see that it's it is false right so this is how you what um restore your subscription right so and now you can come to this verification local data and check the product id then if the product id is weekly then you know that the user they subscribe to a weekly um subscription right but but you need to be careful about this because if the user they don't have internet it will always deactivate the subscription so what we need to do you need to check first if the user has internet if they do have internet and they have the subscription then it will come here and activate it else it will come here to deactivate the subscription right if you have got any questions or anything please drop it in the chat and then i will be covering it in the upcoming videos thank you
bye for now don't forget to smash the subscribe button i really appreciate if you like and comment in the videos of more developers up there